We came into this project with this wonderful idea of what we were going to get from the students. And before we turned on the cameras, we talked to them and they shared so much. But the second the cameras turned on, they would not share their culture. And perhaps it's because of the fact that we came in as outsiders. Good. This should be most enlightening. Teach him, pale face brother, all about red man. Everyone has a different stereotype of Native Americans. Um, right now, currently, I'm working at a, at a, a research paper that pertains to Pocahontas and the way uh, Pocahontas has been viewed by the American people and how she is sexualized and how this imagination always plays through the Eurocentric history of American Indian women. You know, you go to the movies and the popular movies are like Hannah Montana, you know, movies and, and books and stuff that they're about people that don't look like you, you know, constantly that, that says a lot. It's interesting how the media exploits Native American culture and customs such as powwows without realizing that these events are religious and sacred. Our group went to a powwow um, at the beginning of our project and it was sad to see how media just represents this as being the only part of their culture that's relevant to outsiders, whereas we learned that there's so much more that their culture presents. You're comfortable around your own people, really. I mean, sometimes you're not comfortable around your own people, but you're comfortable around people who look like you. And the people that I have a tendency to relate to more are other Indian people. And I think that that's so important for students to have that cultural component. My name's Sterling. I'm 18 from the Navajo tribe, from the Bitterwater clan. <laughs> my tribe from my mom's side is Cherokee. I'm not, I don't know my biological dad, so I don't know from him. I didn't know a lot about like the Native American heritage or anything like that, any of the cultures. I was really never involved in any culture. I just didn't, I just considered myself as a teenager and just going to school, trying to get out and stuff like that. I didn't even go by like Mexican or even though a lot of people thought I was Mexican. Most natives are more modernized, so it's hard to tell them apart from the common Mexican and Filipino. Everyone's the same, like race doesn't even matter anymore. But that scenario of Native American kids is no different from normal public school. So, but it's, it's just nice to be around someone who can relate, you know? I felt, um, you know, really surrounded by white people growing up, and so I feel like culturally, you know, the only other people of color in the neighborhood were my cousins and um, my best friend and then the Richardsons who lived up the street, I mean, of this whole neighborhood. And it wasn't until I went to high school and I got a little older that there were, I started hanging around other Indian people. It's a challenge because of the way society is right now. I mean, like, anytime, like, everywhere you go, there's a dominant culture. And being an American Indian, that's not your culture. I grew up not knowing who I was. Um, my parents always denied um, that they were Indian. Um, maybe because um, the country that we come from, we don't really like to acknowledge we're Indian because Indians are looked at as something lesser. Also stereotypes, sports teams, um, all that stuff, it, you know, it builds up. So with these students seeing that, it makes sense sometimes for them to like, kind of like go in their shell or not really think, you know, I'm not gonna speak out or be positive because what is it gonna, what is it gonna do? What is it gonna do for me? It hasn't done anything for my people you know, in the past 500 years. Um, but it's just a matter of just kind of educating uh, the community um, and letting them know that uh, you know, if you want to do it, you can do it. I don't know where it comes from, but I think it's just something that um, we continue to deal with because people have a different image of us and they, 
don't know. <laughs> yeah. Can you paint with all the colors of the window? Can I? <laughs> no. <laughs> I wish I could, no. Fight on! <laughs>